Hello Internet, I am the final boss and this game is called 8 Millimeters. It's another game made by uh, Dancing Ingi, whose name I really hope I'm pronouncing correctly. Uh, you probably just know him as the developer of Ultra ADHD, depending on whether or not those videos have gone up by the time this one has. Either way, uh, we're going to go ahead and play it. It might be broken down into episodes. I'm not sure how long this game is, but it has no save feature, so... I just kind of got to go through it. It's in... I wonder if the game's going to... The game might explain it. And I'll not say anything. Hey! I can't do a female voice. That's a lot of clapping. Hey, you there? Oh, sorry. Every time I see you, your head's up in the clouds. Maybe you should try and... Maybe you should try and be an astronaut when you grow up. The girl you just heard was my older sister, Anna. We used to play with toy guns outside the house back when I was a kid. I was 12 years old at the time, and she was 18. We saved money for weeks just to buy these toy guns. We used to start gunfights every day. Now come on, look at me. Do you want to fight or no? Ah, there we go. Back to, back to Earth. You go... Where do you start that? Back to Earth you go, now to business. Anna coughed and tried to imitate a cliche, action hero. After all these years, I have finally found you. In response, I tried to sound like a man who's been smoking non-stop since he was roughly six years old. I don't know if I can do that one. Ah, uh, impossible. Yes, you're the demon who killed my father. I hope you're ready to die. Never! Burn in hell! <laughs> Wait, what? You just said I'm the demon. I already live in hell. Shut up and fight! Oh. Interesting. Now, this game, it, it takes place during an alien invasion, and I'm, like, reporting on it. So that's... That's what's going on. That's why I'm a filmmaker. Uh, just to just to clarify things. But I reacted quickly and defeated her. All right, all right. You win. Time out. I mean, uh, well, wretched demon. It seems you are more capable than I thought. And if I'm honest, you weren't too bad either. I'll get you next time, though. When hell freezes over. I like the wordplay, but I don't, but don't, I like the wordplay, but don't be so sure. Our gunfights were only a childish fantasy, a duel between siblings who grew up on action flicks and video games. But no more than a decade after this fake firefight, we exchanged our fake firearms for real ones and fought valiantly for our survival. Now, I know I'm not doing a girl's voice, but I went for the high register <laughs> in the beginning. And yeah, that's kind of my bad. So what, let's see. Oh, we're just, are they the bad guys? I think they're the, oh yeah, those are the bad guys. I see that they shot me. Can I, no, I thought that, whoa, they're fast. I'm really digging the, the sound design and everything. The shooting's really fun. So far, I'm really enjoying this game. Oh, they have rocket launchers. I can't, I can't stand for that. Oh, there's no jump available. So let's go ahead and, oh, I, we moved. Man, this is at the very least super interesting. I, I really, really dig in the, the whole thing. The storyline seems to be, oh, we crashed. Oh no. No, that's not my sister. I don't think. Oh, wait, what's going on here? I can't. Oh, so we're just flashing between scenes now. Okay. And now we have to bury... The, wow, this is... It's going by, like, super quick. There isn't really anything I can do in these scenes, though, except for, I guess, mourn on this one. There wasn't anywhere for me to, like, explore or anything. Man, this is already off to a great start. I managed to survive, luckily, and now, 20 years later, I am on a journey to document the experiences of people like Anna, who fought for humanity's survival. It was not hard, 
to contact Anna's squad mates. It was hard to find people who wanted to speak about their experiences. After much effort, one fighter said he was willing to tell me his story. The next day, I met him in a small, deserted apartment in what used to be the Bronx. Man, Cecil. I like that. I like his name. Is it, is it recording? Uh, yeah. Let's go. First, I'd like to thank you, Mr. Cecil, for being the first person who decided to go on camera with his invasion story. Oh, it's nothing, really. I think more invasion vets need to tell their tales. I'm glad you think so. Come to think about it, you sounded pretty enthusiastic over the phone. Why was that? Uh, I guess I had a bit too much fun. Fun? Yeah, I hate to admit it, but fighting was actually pretty fun. I put my guns here into good use, I annihilated absurd amounts of aliens, and I just ran around feeling like an action hero. Ooh, I get to choose responses. Uh, I, I liked being an action hero whenever I was a kid, so I'm going to go with yes, that does sound pretty fun. I'm glad you understand, actually. You know, you're the first person who told me that. Told you what? That they believe you? Yeah. People don't say it out loud, but they look at me like I'm some sort of sadistic monster for that. Ooh, more choices. Um, that's probably a good one. Uh, this is a better one. I, uh, I'm sorry to hear that. If I had known, I would have been a little more sensitive. It's fine. You couldn't have known. At least you... At least I got your genuine, genuine opinion on tape. And you see what I mean? I realized too late that people may have lost their loved ones in the evasion. I told them I enjoyed it was uh, repulsive. It's fine. Let's move on. At any case... What did you do during the invasion? How did you survive? Well, when the invasion started, I, I, I ran to the beach at night. On foot? On foot. Why did you go to the beach, of all places? I figured there must be a rescue ship or navy presence there. And if there weren't, I could always hijack a lifeguard boat. In retrospect, it wasn't the smartest plan. But it was undoubtedly scenic. I managed to shoot my way to the beach safely, but as expected, it was swarming with aliens I needed to kill all of them before searching for leads. Since the beach was pretty open, I pulled out my silence pistol and wondered if I could kill the aliens unnoticed. But I could always go loud with my shots if I needed to. Interesting, so I get to like relive the people. Oh crap! Oh no, I was wrong! Um. I'm holding two guns. I thought they were both silenced pistols. Uh, no. The the regular qu click ended up shooting the shotgun. I was going to try and go stealthy. That really... Well, you know, the more you know. Besides that, the actual shooting sounds a lot like... Uh, you know, basic shooters of this type. Doom is one of them. Are they all dead? No, probably not. Doom's one of them. Wolfenstein is a big... Uh, it feels a lot like Wolfenstein. I guess I can try and kill the rest of them. Oh, that guy looks like a pain in the ass. Uh, ooh, they keep spotting me. Oh, this is the knife guy. Okay, I get it. I I'm starting to understand. Oh, wow. Okay, some of the trees were really easy to get stuck on, and that's kind of a bit of a problem, but overall, that's probably the least of my issues uh actually i think that's my only issue so far i'm really enjoying the the writing the story's really interesting uh i'm glad it's not just like a super generic hey aliens invaded let's go and shoot everything i wouldn't have complained if it was but i'm really glad that that's not what it ended up turning out to be there we go after I killed every alien in sight, I saw a light shining in the water. Where is it? Oh, there we are. What is it? What is going on there? It was a body, and that... <laughs> it was a body, and I, I blew its head off. 
And that person was. Who was the person? I'm sorry. I can't. What? What voice did I? What? Just turn off the camera. I, I remember something I forgot. Cecil. Cecil then began to weep. Um. I know the feeling. I, yeah, wait, I don't say that. Yeah, I remember. Since you shared your sister's death with me, it's more than fair for you to listen to what I remembered. It was my father. When the invasion started, I lost him. I thought he ran away and that I would meet him again someday. But on the beach, I found him. Dead, with blood all over his sweatshirt, and they just threw him on the beach. So now, after I told you all that, can you please turn the camera off and leave? I need some time to myself. Yeah, that's probably for the best. I turned off the camera and respected Cecil's request. He asked me to stay until he calms down. He was grateful that I shared my sister's death with him, claimed it comforted him. I reminded him I thought the story was fun, and he smiled. Cecil emphasized how important it is to tell your war stories and thanked me many times over the many times over for reminding him of his father's death. Cecil then directed me to a childhood friend he once knew, who moved to Israel a few years ago. She gave her consent to be interviewed, and I caught the first flight to Tel Aviv. Um, I'm running out of voices I can do. <laughs> uh, right, we're recording. I said this to Cecil, and I am saying it to you too. Thank you so much for meeting me, and thank you, or, thank you so much for meeting me and talking about what you went through. No problem. Everyone likes a good war story. How do you know Cecil? Childhood friends a while back. Then my family became religious, decided uh, to live in the Jewish homeland, and we moved to Tel Aviv. I still remain somewhat secular, though. Why are you wearing a military outfit? That's my Earth Defense Force outfit. Thought it would be nice to wear it for the interview. My sister used to wear this outfit. She died in the invasion. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. What did she do in the EDF? Sniper, American Division. My deepest condolences. I've lost many friends, too, to the war. Anyway, let me give you some context. Since Israel is always prepped for war, troops were developed, deployed quickly. But the aliens were too strong. The IDF quickly began taking heavy losses. Ooh. Oh, crap. I don't know if I'll survive this one. It started me off real... Oh, I was supposed to die, wasn't I? Israel eventually had to collaborate with the Palestinians to protect the area. After the Earth Defense Forces formed, the Israel-Palestinian military joined the EDF and eventually cleared the and eventually cleared the region with their help. While all of this was going on, I was hiding somewhere in a base in in the Neg Negrit ne uh, Negev, the southern region of Israel. I was stationed there for a time. Oh, man, she's tall. I'm just, I'm literally just like in a room. I don't know if this is hiding. I don't know how long I stayed there. There was no way to keep time. I emerged after the gunfire stopped. That's pretty reasonable. Holy crap. Everyone died. Jeez. How did we win? Or did we win? After society got back on its feet, I got a hold of Cecil and told him what I saw. Those people were my friends, my commanders, my squad mates, I told him. And I just went into hiding and did nothing. When he heard that, he told me his story, that he ran to the beach and found his father in the water. I hung up. I couldn't take it. I never talked to him since, well, not until now. At first, I used to go to the funerals, but then I kind of stopped. I felt like it was my fault they died, 
I distanced myself from the families. Funny you got here in this day in particular. Hmm, how come? It's Memorial Day. For the fallen soldiers. And any moment now, the entire state of Israel will take a moment of silence and those who protected it. Come on, stand up. The siren will go off soon. I don't know if it's silent if there's a siren. But I get the idea behind it. Man. I like this game. I like this game quite a bit. I don't really have to... Usually I have to complain about games, but no, this game, the writing is good. I like the, the art style, how they're all blocky and stuff. Man, it's just a good game in general. I, I can't wait to hear more about how we, uh, how we repelled the alien forces. Definitely after all of her squadron was killed, like... Like, it just... What, did we did we fly a ship, uh, a plane into their ship and blow it up through their one weakness? Like, like what 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 happened here? Oh, that was the whole game. Oh no, I really wanted there to be more of it. Okay. It, it sounded like there was going to be a lot more to the game whenever it, they had to tell me that there is no save feature. Dang, that really sucks. All right. Well, I guess uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to keep a lookout on this developer because that's two games that I really like by this by this developer. And uh, I guess thank you guys for watching. If you like this, leave a like and I will see you in the next video.